In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to remove collaborators from Google Drive in 2025. Whether you're managing a project or just reorganizing your shared files, occasionally you might find the need to revoke someone's access to a document or folder. It's a pretty straightforward process and I'm here to walk you through it step by step. First, you'll want to start by navigating to your Google Drive. This is where all your Google documents, spreadsheets and more are stored. Simply open your preferred web browser and go to the Google Drive homepage. Make sure that you're logged into the correct Google account that has access to the files you wish to edit. Once you're at the Google Drive home, you're ready for the next step. Now, from your Google Drive interface, locate the file or folder from which you want to remove a collaborator. This could be a document, spreadsheet or any other type of file that you've previously shared with others. If you have a long list of files, you might use the search bar at the top to find it quickly. Once you've found the file, just click on it to select it. You'll notice that it gets highlighted, indicating that it is the chosen file you're working with. Next, with your file selected, look towards the top of your screen for the share button. Clicking this button will open a window that displays everyone who currently has access to your file. In this window, you can see each collaborator and their permissions level, such as viewer, commenter or editor. It's in this space where you can manage how people interact with your document. Now it's time to identify the particular collaborator you want to remove. You'll see them listed with their access role next to their name. Find the specific individual whose access you wish to revoke and click on the drop down menu beside their current permission level, which might be labeled as editor or another role. This will bring up a small menu with various options. Finally, after you've clicked this drop down menu, look for the option that says remove access. Click on remove access and you'll see a confirmation prompt to make sure this action is intentional. Confirm your choice and just like that, the person will no longer have access to edit, view or interact with your file. It's always a good practice to double check your list of collaborators to ensure that only the intended people can access your work moving forward. And there you have it, you've successfully removed a collaborator from your Google Drive file. This process is not just limited to files, but can be applied to any folder you have shared as well, helping you ensure that your digital workspace remains organized and secure. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you found this guide helpful and easy to follow.